Hey Penguin Platform, my name is Ariel Bisset and I'm here today to talk about Readathon, specifically the book Tubathon. If you've never heard of it, let me tell you what it is. It's a week-long readathon. So this one week where everyone gets together to read as much as we all possibly can. It actually starts today, so it's not too late if you want to participate. We'll link you down below to where you can get more details. Like you, if you're subscribed to this channel, I love reading. But let's admit, reading can be a pretty solitary activity most of the time. You're just sitting alone reading, <laughs> you know, like it's not exactly a community affair. But a readathon allows for that community aspect. It's this one week where everyone gets together, where you're supporting each other, you're cheering each other on, and for the book Tubathon, you're participating in activities like making video challenges and book photo challenges, all of which revolve around your reading. So today I'm going to give you my top three tips on how to succeed at a readathon. Tip number one is to pick fun books. This is not the time <laughs> to get around to that book you've always been meaning to read, or hmm, yes, The Three Musketeers, that one sounds nice and challenging. Not the time. What you want to do is pick books that are fast paced, genres that you really enjoy and think you can speed through. You don't want this to be the week where you get into a reading slump. So to try and avoid that, get books that really excite you so that you can keep that momentum up. My second tip is to incorporate yourself into the community of the readathon. During the Booktubeathon, we have so much going on on Instagram, on Twitter. There's so many ways to engage with other readers, and it's super encouraging. It's so motivational to see so many people around you reading. You want to go ahead and read. You want to join in on the fun. You want to tell people, yeah, I've managed to read two books so far. Go me, go you. If you can, it'd be amazing if you could do a read-in with other friends that you have in real life that are also participating in the readathon. Get together, make a festivity of it, but don't get too distracted. Try and, try and focus on the reading. <laughs> and my third tip is to try and squeeze in as much reading as possible in your daily routine by doing two things. Number one is by trying to have a scheduled time of day where you think you can read every single day. Maybe that's when you wake up, maybe that's when you go to sleep, maybe that's during your lunch break, but try and just for this one week, you know, it's just this one extra push to read at that time every day. And the other part to this tip is to carry a book around with you at all times. It could be an audiobook, it could be an ebook, it could be a physical book, but if you're on a commute, if you got a little, you got a 15 minute break during your day, if you're waiting at the bank and you're just standing in line, if you're waiting for your pasta to cook, you know, there's so many little moments that are kind of wasted time. Instead of going on social media, try and gravitate towards your book. At the end of all things, it's just meant to be a good time. And I know that I have so much fun with the Booktubeathon every single year. Now, before I go, I'm going to announce the winner of our To Be Read Pile giveaway, and the winner is booked! Congratulations! Um, I'm so excited that you made a To Be Read Pile and that you're participating in the book Tubathon. We shall be contacting you shortly to get you your box of books. Congrats! And thank you so much to the hundreds of people that entered. It was a random giveaway, so you all had an equal chance, but I think you're all amazing. Thanks so much to Penguin Platform for being part of this year's book Tubathon. Good luck to everyone participating in the book Tubathon or any readathon. You know, who knows when you could be watching these tips. I hope you're all having a lovely day. Happy reading. Bye. Yeah. <laughs>